<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the stream of NG. So, we saved Ami! Yes, Yay. we saved her! So, good job, us. But we still got two chapters left. We got but we saved this Ami, chapter, and always still alive, and everything's fine. But Aunt Natsumi and Aonome are still asleep. And Marohashi's dead, so... Yeah, I, I still say it without and Kubita. The ammo way off. We'll see what's up. But now it's like we're like, you know, we, <laughs> they slept a little bit. I forgot that! I forgot! <laughs> what was that? Uh, the quote. <laughs> oh, that, that was the most recent quote. Ah, uh, that was that that still hurts my head, by the way. About how he just freaking just what he did. Ah. Uh, we all leave the bar. Oh, it leads us over to the hospital where Aunt Natsumi is staying. After visiting her, Ami goes in for her own examination. I don't know I don't know what I what I think I don't know what exactly might have happened to me. I just know that it that it wasn't Kubita. There was no, there was no precedent for Kubitaro giving giving her victims masks and stuffing their necks with toys. Like we saw the doggo. We saw the doggo. It was just a headless doggo. There was no toys. There was no mask. It was just the doggo minus a head. But then we see Maruhashi and he's got a mask. The mask is full of toys. He's surrounded by toys. Hi, Potato. <laughs> Hello there, Potato. But yeah, it just the ammo's the modus operandi's don't line up. They don't line up in the slightest. That's what's got me suspicious. But I'm done with my they, rant now. <laughs> <laughs> they decide to keep her at the hospital overnight for the exam. Now take your time, Nature. It's fine. That night, after hospital visiting hours are over, we return to Kosoji Station. A pleasant breeze blows through the area. It's nice and cool out tonight. Are you worried about Ami Kojima? I checked to make sure the, hotel, make sure the hotel room had no mirrors. And a nurse is keeping... Yeah, yeah, we get, we do, we do that, we do that, Tato. We're tiny little things, so we always say hi. She'll be fine, yeah. Yeah. I don't like taking my eyes off her, but she'll probably be fine for now. If Kaguya's gonna kidnap her again, she'd have to play her game, play her a game first. <laughs> Benji is definitely worked up. If you're that worried about barking at a treat again. <laughs> if you're that worried about it. Anyway, I'm heading home. Tomorrow's gonna be busy and I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm gonna see a forensic researcher and verify that with the case of the fire. <laughs> Well, they did describe always having like a husky voice, so this is eh. the closest I can do. <laughs> like I've said unless you can... before, my my voice is stubbornly a feminist. Unless you can pull off a Claudia Black voice, the Killer Peach did that, yeah. Let me know if you find anything. <laughs> God, your quotes. <laughs> oh yeah, that was uh, the last boss in Shadow of the Colossus. I was gonna say that sounds like a Shadow of the Colossus. Quote. I'm not surprised. I'm not supposed to show the investigation material. That's the... You're seriously gonna try and pull that card now? <laughs> you got me there. I'll contact you tomorrow. See ya. Always oh, dis disappears toward the ticket gates. Huh? Where'd Hazuki go? She was just here. Guess I'll look for her. Game. This is Kentucky. 
Uh, this the, is the Kentucky yeah. path. Hmm. The cops inside look busy answering the phones. I should quickly move on before they make eye contact with them. Uh, it's not the big city, but it's blah, 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 blah. I'm at the bus stop. Horrible. Wait, what about? It's a building by the station of offices in the cram school. It looks like people are still inside this hour. A few of the rooms are still have lights on. Horrible. Hazuki comes walking back from over there. There we go. Oh, did I leave? I didn't get to say goodbye. What were you doing? Uh, the agency figured out the game. I got a call from the boss man, so I just apologized and cursed at him. Wait, what? That's contradictory. <laughs> Whatever. Is that gonna be alright? The... I'll be fine. I work there like 24 7, 365. They can't get mad at me for taking a break every while. I'm trying to imagine, like, the, the conversation, like, I'm so sorry, kiss my ass. It's <laughs> yeah, like, damn. Like, like, I'm sorry, but go fuck yourself. <laughs> Screw you, boss, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you have that attitude, the agency will fire you. Nah, they can't do that. Well, my is the most popular idol they've got. Yeah, but like, who knows about the future? Um, uh, Momo Kurose is. Come on, bitch. Momo Kurose is soaring right up the charts right now. With the Y2K bug, people are interested in the occult day type stuff. But you're not interested in the occult just for your job, right? Yeah, I've always been interested in it. it. Started me when I was six, and I saw a legendary Suchinoko take snake. Welcome back, nature. What Suchinoko is? It's basically Duns. Like that's what Duns Boss hmm. was based on. Just think Duns Boss, just minus the wings and snake colors. Liar. I'm telling you, I really saw After that, I got interested in crickets, aliens, psychic powers, and... Urban legends are what's hot right now, though. Oh, that's right! I've got a legend I want to investigate. Would you help me, Kojima? Ah, uh, whatever. Sounds like fun. Great! I knew I could count on you. You're so reliable, Kojima. All right, let's head straight to the site. Hatsuki excitedly pulls me away from the station. We're heading in the direction of my apartment, but we're taking a different road. I think I've been down this way before. Oh. We finally arrive at the familiar looking graveyard. I half expect a ghost to pop out at us. Come on. I just, I can. Okay. Come on, catch up. Okay, since we're here, let's say hi to you. I want to tell her we got Ami back. We walk further into the dusky graveyard. When we get to Yuri Takamura's grave, I follow Hazuki's example and press my palms together. <sighs> okay, this is... Wiguchi, Wiguchi, Yuri, I kept my promise. Ami's back. Oh, 
Okay, that should do it. Now to investigate that urban legend. Here we are. Yuri was um uh, was uh was um Hazuki's best friend and also a neighbor for Ami. So, in like a month before the game started, she got killed by Kaguya because she didn't play her game. So, that's who Yuri is. It was all in the very beginning of the game. Hey, Momokuru says here. How's your guardian angel? This is a task more well suited to... Wait a minute, what? Did that light just turn on? Not sure if that's... Not sure if that is a nice detail or something spooky. What light? The, the, the lamp street post light? On the, the lamp post on the left has always been on. And so has the vending. Those are the only two yeah. light sources I think are that are in this scene. Yeah, whatever. Do what you want. So, is there anything in, in that graveyard? No, the graveyard is unrelated. My objective is the blurry red text. <laughs> the vending machine. Ah, the vending machine. <laughs> the vending machine, huh? She probably means that one. Looks like an ordinary vending machine to me. Actually, the machine has a strange rumor going around about it. Scary, strange, same difference. Three years ago, a girl lost her lover in an accident. So she went to the place where he died and was going to kill herself with some po powdered poison. To drink the poison, she brought a drink from that vending machine there. But she hit the jackpot and got a second drink for free. Except it was a waste on a girl who'd already made up her mind to commit suicide. She drank the poison and died. After that, a certain rumor started circulating about that vending machine. She said if you drink, if you drank the free second drink, you get when you hit the jackpot, you die soon. And in fact, once a couple bought some drinks from there and hit the jackpot, and the instant the guy drank the second drink, he coughed up blood and died apparently. And that guy's corpse was found to have the same poison that the girl used to commit suicide. That's how the rumor goes. So tonight I want to see if it's true. I didn't notice the last time I got a drink from here, but apparently it has a jackpot function. In other in other words, we gotta hit the jackpot on that vending machine, yeah? Yeah, exactly. But there's one problem. What's that? Many people have already tried it, and no one has ever a jack. One hero even spent more than 10,000 yen trying. What an idiot. Sorry, I'm sorry. So okay. I came up with an idea. Maybe it has to be a. I'm I'm gonna punch something. Maybe I'll be a. Be able to get the jackpot. So like the the, the screen's not coming in clear at all when I when I share my screen with you or no. It's... It, it does go clear occasionally, but generally it it does kind of, like currently the back like the actual CG looks like it's made it's made out of Legos, mm. and at, at its worst the text boxes are just full of lines, just lines, just disparate 
it's short lines, no text at all. It's stupid. <laughs> yeah, that one victim did it with his girlfriend. Um, if the ghost of the dead girl... Is she? Maybe she gets jealous of happy cup. Cursed drink. That, that, that logic tracks. That logic definitely tracks. Yeah, sounds like, a, sounds like what a vengeful ghost would do, alright. So, Kojima. Would you pretend to be my boyfriend? Can investigate it. Uh. I'm literally just bullshitting these. When I can tr sort of guess the concept, I just bullshit things. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, wait. Oh, shit! I was basically right, too. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no. I mean, yeah, I was saying whatever in terms of, like, what to judge by here. But, yeah, no, you were basically right. Um, I think that that was Bond, who's his hero. I mean, 10,000 is what we lent him, and this seems like gambling. This better not be it. I don't think Bond would be... I don't think he's even interested in doing that. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past... Well, no, I know it wouldn't, because, like, he, he's... I don't know, actually. Like, if this worked, I had the potential to kill him. So I don't know if we... Ugh, bugger it. Hey, <laughs> I'm glad you're willing to... Yeah, Bon, I really, like... I hope post this game, like, Bon gets help for his gambling addiction, you know? <sighs> like, it's no joke. Addictions are no joke. Alright, yep. let's begin our investigation. Okay, Kojima. After we get close to the vending machine, you gotta... I don't know, act like my boyfriend. Kiss me on the cheek, I don't know. <laughs> That's like, it's like, yeah, act like you're a couple. Yeah. Hotsky walks ahead of me. Man, what have I got myself into? I I'm gonna laugh, this is a crisis choice. It's up to me whether I want to take this seriously. Even if I fail, it'll only mean the investigation was a bust and Hazuki will just be disappointed. It's no big deal. I'll just do whatever. I catch up to Hazuki and t hold her hand as he walks to the vending machine. I dare you to take it dead seriously. Hey, Akira. I'm thirsty. Hazuki speaks flirtatiously. Never heard her talk like that before. She's an idol after all, so I guess this is the kind of thing she's used to. Okay, how should I respond? <laughs> wow, it really is a crisis choice. Okay. Uh. Let's go at first name basis. Husky grins. Hey, Akira. It's super quiet here, huh? Yeah, it is. Regular people don't really come in here in the middle of the night. So, what you're saying? There's no one looking. <laughs> We should take advantage of that. Hazuki starts leaning on me. Do it. Do I'm it. I'm gonna do it, boys! Go for it! Do it for me! <laughs> Hug her tightly. Oh, there's no, oh, there's no option, option to fucking kiss her. Bloody hell, game. Time to smash. Now calm down, Super <laughs> Twin. Not just yet. I squeeze Hazuki's small frame tight. What? Akira, that's some surprisingly passionate act. I'm not acting. <laughs> I guess I better match your enthusiasm. She puts her arm around my back <laughs> and hugs me in return. 
Where's the mix and pa Oh, yeah. That's... I... Yeah. She steps away from me and then looks around. Really? You're ruining the moment, you damn internet connection. Uh, so I'm sorry. What was okay. that noise? I think it came from the graveyard. We can't be a ghost. Should I'll we check it out? You. I'll protect Let's you, check darling. It out. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Do I die now? It's fine now. As soon as we enter the graveyard, we realize the likely the cause. You know what? Hold on a minute. I wonder if doing this properly and doing this wrong actually does something. Don't fucking know. Hold on, we'll see here. A small gravestone has fallen over. It's probably what the pull up made a noise. Is this just a coincidence? Why is it a... I'm not sure which it is. This isn't working. She dropped down and gone back to her usual self. Um, Hold on a minute. When was the last time I load? I, I saved? Don't know. Damn, the black rabbit. Yeah, the whole scene with Oi. Okay. Um... We're gonna lose some progress here, and I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna for, I'm gonna fast forward this as much as I can. I really want to see, like, I don't want that to drop. And maybe I should have continued going there, but, um, I really was interested there to see what the hell is gonna happen. So, give us, just give us a few minutes here. Like, it shouldn't even take that long. Thank, no. thank God for this no. fast forward feature. <laughs> Am I thirsty? I, I I'm curious to see, like, cause I, like, I wonder if that's gonna do anything with the overall story. You know, if we if you're thirsty, if we cleared I it or failed it. As I remember to save when we're looking for Hazuki. Yep, yep. So that'll be. Okay. A little bit easier for us. There we go. Ah. Oh. Hey Kojima, I've been bad. Let's get you home for punishments, jeez. Oh fuck. <laughs> hey, that some people are kinky like that. So be it. I mean, that's what they want to do. Oh, that's yes, I definitely their, know that some. That's their prerogative. <laughs> I know that very well. <laughs> Freaking Monokuma ruining the moment. <laughs> oh, fuck. Monokuma pushed over the gravestone. <laughs> okay, so what should we pick about when we hear that noise? Should we, like, obviously we're not going to investigate it. I couldn't see the other, the, the other options. Hmm. But maybe, like, don't worry about it, or it's nothing. Let's see. I forgot, I forgot the other options myself. Don't worry about it, it's just your imagination. I'll say don't worry about it. That was good. Okay. Oh. Sorry. I have to focus on our date now. She's managed to remember our, the act. Thanks, Sakura. There you go. Hmm. We stay by the vending machine for a while and act like we're dating. Then. 
You want something to drink, Haru? Um. I'll have what you have, whatever you get. All right, I'll go buy something. I walk up to the vending machine and slip some coins into the slot. I hit the button for a random sports drink. After a can falls down, the panel next to the coin starts flashing. Seven. 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 Seven! Oh, there's four sevens. Okay. The numbers all match! We hit the jackpot! Yay! I'm rich! Another can falls down. I take it out and... It looks like a normal sports drink. So, how'd it go? I tell her we hit the jackpot and throw her in a second can. <laughs> so, our investigation was an unparalleled success. That vending machine is one. The fact that it reacted to a couple is all that we need. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! She starts whooping it up. Um. Maybe we just randomly happen to hit the jackpot. So, what should I do with the second can? Um, I wouldn't drink it if I were you. According to the rumors, you could die. Yeah, just throw it away and pretend it's different. I'll die if I drink it, huh? Get rid of it. <laughs> I'm curious now. I don't know. I no. mean, <laughs> no, no, not curious. Like what? What I was thinking is maybe we had to do this to get to, like the true ending or something. Fine, do it. Well, I, I thought we we're gonna hold on to it. I don't know. <laughs> you're the one. You're the one on the controls. I can just advise. I. I mean, I did. I didn't want any of these options. I thought I was gonna hold on to it, but. A lot of people are saying drink it. Oh, whatever. Well, I won it, so I may as well drink it. What? I open a second can in front of Hazuki and pound it down in one gulp. This is going to be interesting. That hit the spot. What? what? What do you think you're doing? Throw off this instant puke now! Calm down, I feel fine. It means a rumor was just a rumor. I swear, if Akira pretends to be dying, I'm gonna lose my mind. I wouldn't be surprised if he does that. I wouldn't put it past him. He's he's that kind of bag. Ugh. I don't think I can't. I can't save here and try different options. I would have to go back to my last save, which I mean wouldn't take me long at all. But eh. I mean, as far as long as this doesn't have any consequences for the actual ending of the game, then I think it's fine. Maybe next time you save, you should save in a different slot just to be safe. So hold on. What if it was difference between normal? And good? So that's what I'm wondering. Does, does anybody know if this has a has a thing regarding normal or? Or a good ending? Like, yeah, now I'm worried. Yeah, someone look this up right now, please. Just to be safe. I'm glad you're alive, Akira, but I'm not really sure how I feel about this. So, does that finish up your investigation? Oh, contradictory and mock. Way good. Okay. Yeah, I'm satisfied. And here we are.
Thanks for tonight, Akira. I had a lot of fun. Well, that's good. And I even got a little excited. I thought I was used to filming scenes like bitch bitch stupid bitching internet <laughs> sorry that's okay you're okay <laughs> apparently in a rumor the person died right there right then after he drank it at the vending machine she blushes a little and then which is unlike her no I I make up so and that's it <laughs> Uh, bitch! So, was that a good diversion? What do you mean? I really brought you out here to, you know, try and distract you from Natsumi and Kaku. Yeah, whatever. I figured you did a little relaxation. Yeah, it was a good way to kill time. <laughs> so, did it work? I... Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good, I... I hope we can end all this craziness before the end of summer break. Oh yeah. Is it really summer break right now? I've been so busy I totally forgot. Yeah, I totally get that. My concerts are on hold, so I've got more free time. But it'd typically be non-stop work for... I like my job, so it's fine, but there are some parts of normal school life I really envy. I guess it's because my personal reality has been so messed up recently. Things like summer break and school that are normal for everyone else seem totally alien. After all this is finally over, will I even be able to return to my old life? The therapy? Probably. Alright, I'm going to head out. See you tomorrow, Kojima. I look forward to spending more time together. Are you going home? No, I can't do that. The agency might... catch me again. So I'm planning to stay with a... with a... Senior co-worker. Yeah, senior co-worker that I know pretty well. Do you want me to walk you there? Uh, I can't. That's lines. Oh, you're so nice. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Pharaoh. No, that it's not your fault. It's what you can do about the internet, you know. <clears throat> Bitch, come on, stream, catch up so I don't feel like an asshole. We can at least walk to the station. I walk Hazuki to Kasoji Station and then head to my apartment. Yeah, I'm Did just like, this is probably going to be really, really annoying. I don't know what is on you. My apartment has a mirror that connects to the realm of the dead. It feels weird to sleep in a place with something like that sitting in it, but... After all, I've gone through this. This is nothing. I've survived all this, all that for this long. I don't know about the other spirits, but Kaguya wants to play her game with me, so she probably won't harm me directly. That's what I've decided to think anyway. I realize it's a pretty bold stance to take. I eat some food, take a hot shower, and then start getting ready for bed. I think I'll be able to sleep for once. I'm I'm actually going to go ahead and put a new slot here. Just to be safe. Just to be absolutely certain, yeah. Because don't forget, I, I still have that one slot for the fatal choice that we did. Uh, yeah, um, for Hazuki or... Or uh, Amanome. I wonder what we'd have done like in this situation, the vending machine situation, if we had Amanome. Like, what would he be doing? 
see, and that's the thing, like, you know, and that, that's what makes it very interesting about this game, about, well, well, at least here, it's like, there's various branches, and maybe they're not, like, very consequential, consequential here, but, like, at least in Deathmark, it was, like, one <laughs> or, you know, one or two, anomaly. that's yes, it. that would be fun. <laughs> Collapsing in the bed, I shut my eyes. Maybe because I haven't been getting much sleep, my consciousness quickly melts into darkness. I doubt Aminome will be interested with the, the vending machine. No, probably not. But he, he might be interested in <laughs> Akira, oh, though. Apparently, oh, apparently the Hazuki Aminome choice effects when you get the good job we Wait. had a separate slot for that. I'm sorry, what was that? Um, Wait, you, well, yeah, what would you say? A sign said, apparently the Hazuki Amano affect whether you get to the good or ending. Oh man, are you kidding? I really don't want to play the whole game again if I'm gonna have, if I picked something wrong here. I mean, to be fair, Amano May was probably the normal ending, but. Well, even if it was, I mean, if I, whatever, we'll, we'll figure it out. Even if it was wrong, that maybe off screen I can quickly just zoom. I don't know. I met I meet up with Hazuki around noon, and we head to the hospital where Ami's staying. While Hazuki keeps Ami company, the doctor explains her diagnosis to to me. Ami's body is healthy, but they found some small irregularities in her brain waves. He mentioned something about alpha or beta waves, but I can't make sense of it. He says he wants to do a more thorough exam, so he'll be keeping Ami another night. Good, she's safe still. A Ami isn't happy to hear that, of course. Before evening, Hazuki and I return to Kasoji Station. Oh, Alrighty, right, twin. twin! When we leave the building, the summer sun's blinding ray shines down on us. Ouch! The light's way too strong. I know how it feels to be a vampire now. Kojima, let's escape to the Black Rabbit before we get turned to ash. Yeah. God, I love her. We run to the Black Rabbit, hurrying along as we flee from the sun. Wait a minute. If Hazuki survived the Hiroshima woman... After a Kubitaro confrontation, there's an event that lets you choose to rescue Hazuki Aminome first. The decision will result in two different routes of normal and good ending. Oh, so you're saying there's two versions of a normal and two versions of the good ending? Is that what I'm getting? Well, yeah. I mean, there's the normal ending with Hazuki and good ending with Then there's the a normal ending with Aminome and a good ending with Aminome. Okay. No, I thought like it was straight up like normal good. That's it. Like, no, you know, this isn't Deathmark. Then again, you know you don't know what this game is going to do just yet. I'm trying to be optimistic. We crank up the air conditioning and pass the time drinking and talking about nothing. Always coming by tonight. Apparently she got a verdict on that report on the cause of the fire. Sorry I'm late. Be patient. Someone else has got the details. Oh, I feel awful. Hey, uh, Bob. Who's, Mor <laughs> who's Morahashi? Morahashi, uh, he was one of he was like an underling of Amanome. He was in the first couple chapters, and he died at and the end of the. He was really the... nice. Like his he first was. appearance was him being like kind of. But, like, when when he actually became a character, like, he was such a sweetheart. Like, he was basically gumshoe. Like, completely fucking incompetent. Like, pure of heart and dumb of ass. That's that's the meme I'd assign to him. Pure of heart and dumb of ass. <clears throat> Middle-aged guys like me are not cut off for this heat. Hey, Kojima. Looks like you're doing well. I'm sure you missed me yesterday. He is you guys were, a You guys minor. were working together? You guys were working together? Yeah, well, I've been really curious about that report on the cause of the fire, too. 
so I got her to tell me the results early. But, thanks to my curiosity, now I've got to do even more work. <laughs> I make it a habit to you. Apparently this extra work is always doing. So, Bon and I will be taking off. I'd have loved to chat with you, but if I don't hurry, I'll miss the bullet train. Wait, where in the world are you going? Out west, on a business trip involving Killer Peach. Oh, I can give you more detail. Let's go, Bon. So, see ya. Aw, no more of them? Alright. Yeah, we know that sign. That was a thing for Death Mother. Bod and Rosé hurriedly leave. Well, that was fast. Was that Lady Rosé? I wanted to introduce myself. Well, hopefully that all goes well. It involves Killer Peach? What kind of order was it? Before that, I'll tell you more about this. Oh, it takes a familiar document out of her pocket. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault, it's okay. Stupid. Yeah, I'll give it back to you. Got the fire report. I got a forensic researcher to check out the parts. Black and unreadable. As I assumed, it's about the fire at the Momoi. You mean that thing Killer Peach Okiyama talked about on that tape recorder? I never heard about it before. Mm. Stupid fucking lag. Mm. No surprise. It happened ten years ago already. Okay, ten years ago, another instance back then. Ten years ago was about the time I saw that mythical supernova snake and awoke to the occult. This can't be just a coincidence. Maybe it's some kind of karmic fate. Possible. No, none of my partners died. I made sure that I pacified each yeah. one. Ugh. Hmm. <laughs> Keep going, you keep going, Miss Zoe. So what kind of fire was it? <sighs> M uh, Oe falls silent for a while and begins to speak in a hushed voice. Ah, bitch. Um... Momoi department store was an old store in front of Shinza Station. Yeah, that was quick. Ten years ago, a fire shut it down. Then the Sumi group bought it, demolished it, and built Moon Tower right on that very spot. And get on top of it, and that's why... Oh, no. Remember? I think yeah. I know where this is going. She, oh. she had a daughter, remember? A kid, at least. There was that. Drew that picture, and there was a fire. I think she was so passionate about about that fire because her little her kid died in it. Possibly. So that's how they're related. That's probably why the floor of the department store appeared outside the elevator. It must be a supernatural effect caused by a spirit, like like at the Moroku residence. I swear, tomorrow I'm gonna punch the router. This is bullshit. <laughs> the fire happened on the fifth floor. Toy department. Huh? The toy department caught fire? On the news, they speculated the electrical malfunction. Lights caught. Whatever the cause was, more than 20 people. Most of the victims were families. It was just before Christmas, so they'd probably come to buy presents. That's awful. Uh, 
uh, at least that's what was reported on the news ten years ago. But mm, the I said maybe that wasn't the truth. Maybe that wasn't the truth. The report made that very clear. The black and bots had info on the source of the fire and state of the scene. The true cause. True cause, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the true cause, huh? Yeah. On the floor of the scene of the incident, they found traces of gasoline. So it was arson. Exactly. The condition of the scene leaves no... The, n the news probably got fed some false info, and the evidence got suppressed. Even this report was considered lost because of some accident. Now the question is, who was behind it all? Though you can probably guess based on what you heard. You know, kill a beach. Okiyama was trying to ask Naburu Ishimaru, the president of the Sumi Group, about the fire. She was probably suspicious about the truth behind the fire and Ishimaru's relation to it. Okiyama lost her husband and son in the... Thought so. She went after Ishimaru to get then killed. If Kill a Peach had the report on her, that must have mean, means Okiyama must have found it somewhere. She was a member of the Diet, so she must have had connections to get it. That's some obsession. If she went to those lengths to get that report, she'd probably be the type to hold on, hold on to her after dead. Her family died after all. I can't say I don't understand her fears. The truth. Something's kind of bugging me, though. The cause of the fire was arson, right? Did they ever find out who figure figure out who set the fire? No. Not yet. It wasn't written in any report either. But it must have been someone with the thingy. <laughs> I think I messed up in the head. I don't know, yeah, kind of went faster. Someone messed up in the head. What makes you say that? According to the report. There was a gun found at the scene of the fire, but most of the victims burned to death. Well, technically they would have died of smoke inhalation. Technically. Well, I mean, they're, they're not it's you you can't exactly rule out that some of them actually burned. I mean, they could have gotten they no, could have gotten with, with the amount of time it takes to burn. Like human the human body is like 70 odd percent water. No, no. They wouldn't I, no, be I, an absolute unbearable, unending agony, but with the amount of time it ta would take live flesh to burn to the degree that it would cause a fatality, they would have died of, died of smoke inhalation twice over by that point. Trust me, I've done the research. Okay. I, I, I had a really long, I had a really significant edgy phase as a writer, so... <laughs> no, 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 I... I, I have so. weird information. If they wanted to kill them, they could have just shot them, but they specifically burned them. And most of the burnt corpses they found were chained together. Chains? What were those for? How should I know? See you later, Potato. The report lists- oh, see you, Tato! The report lists some possibilities. Maybe to restrain the victims or have them watch each other? And all this sounds pretty occult, too. Occult? You've got to tell us about that one! Well, the arsonist... ...may have been trying to play the Demon Tsukiyomi game. Wait. Did you just say Demon Tsukiyomi? Um, actually... Do you know anything about the demon Tsukuyomi? No, I never heard of it before. What is it? I don't know. I just remember Kaguya talking about I'm sure of it. Ami mentioned that earlier. 
<laughs> what? Wait, already? We haven't oh. even been visited by Kakuya yet. Oh, okay. It's time for a tale. Demon Sukiyomi, doing Demon Sukiyomi, please come here. So, it's not over yet, huh? But this time it's different. The game always starts when Kaguya tells me the name of the spirit. But this time, Kaguya hasn't shown herself yet. But. OA just said the name of the spirit. Hey, what? Not Owe. Yeah, it was her specifically. Owe said. No, no, hold, hold on, no, re really quick. <laughs> Initially, Ami told us about. Have you ever heard of the demon? And if we're going across the the fact here that we're not even sure if that's really Ami, then it could be Kaguya. That could be that Kaguya herself actually did tell us the name. So I think that kind of cements that that isn't really Ami, now is it? That's what I'm thinking, anyway. We also got the whole thing with um, the irregularities with the um, with the brainwaves, so it could be that that is not Ami. Maybe. I don't think the mirror's broken. I don't know. Wait, Joanne, are you there? Uh oh. I think your air not cut off. Hello. <laughs> Did Kaguya take Joanne? I hope not, because I don't think I'll be willing to do this whole game. <laughs> oh, can you hear me? Hello? Oh. Hello? Mina. Oh god, so she's gonna do it. <laughs> I've decided the next game already. Uh, Alright guys, it's been great. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this game and turn off the stream. Time and... to play the Demon Sukiyomi game. <laughs> oh no. If well... you don't play with Kakuya, you'll disappear too. And Benji uh, it... will never come back. Aw, oh, see, no, you can't bring him here. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sorry for that. No, not at all. I, I, I gotcha. But did you, did you hear what I was saying? I, the, barely. The... Like, my laptop okay. was down to, like, like 10% charge, so you were breaking up, and everything was freezing, and... Oh. <laughs> Leave Benji alone. <laughs> Look, I am um, legally ob obligated to fuck with him at least once a stream. <laughs> so, the big thing out of here was the curse started, and he's like, but wait a minute. He's like, Kaguya hasn't shown herself yet. And because always before, Kaguya would, used to tell him yes. the name of the thing. So, what I was saying, I'm like, wait a minute. I think Kaguya already did. Because we're, if we're going by the assumption that that is not Ami then, or if it really is Kaguya, then holy crap, Kaguya did say it to us initially. No. And remember the whole thing... Well, wait, what do you mean no? No, read, go back and read the, read the log. Scroll up. To, oh, I always specific, specifically said... Specifically you know said anything? the words, the Demon Tsukuyomi game. So, yeah, well, yeah, I understand, but the I game think that's what triggered it. You think her mentioning it was a game yep. is what triggered it? Maybe. See, I don't, I don't know. I think... Uh, we'll see. I mean, I have a feeling we, we, we it might be more so of the um, idea that Ami is not Ami? really Ami. Yeah, it could I mean, be. Especially, especially the whole thing with the brain or, or uh, irregularities, whatever. Um... Maybe, maybe, maybe. Wait, for how did Benji get in my house? <laughs> He's petting him? Uh oh, I don't know, I just heard him barking. Unless you're <laughs> in my house, which is creepy. Maybe that was Rolly. Who knows? Mm. Benji's such a fun little dog. 
Just don't get bored of him. <laughs> By this time, Kaguya hasn't shown herself yet. Damn it. I have no idea what's going on. I suddenly feel my consciousness drifting away and instinctively hold my head. What's wrong, Kojima? It's the curse. Kakia's curse is back. Seriously? But you saved Ami! How should I know what Kaguya's deal is? All I know is that I'm in serious trouble if I don't do any, any something about this demon Tsukiyomi by today. That's... that's... Golden. Golden with that galaxy brain. Uh, imagine Akagia plans so far ahead that someone bringing up that name triggers it by influencing events. Maybe. I mean, if we go by the fact that just by somebody mentioning the name could trigger it, then damn, I don't know. I mean, it, it's weird because it's like, these are powerful beings, yeah? But it's like, are they all powerful? Like, what's, what's the range? You know, what can and can they not do? I mean, we can assume that she can possibly do so, but it's also not guaranteed. I don't know. Oh! Yeah. Well, all we can... <sighs> if we can do something about the spirit like we always do, then you should be fine. Oh, that glitch was creepy. I'm assuming what? she's open. The character sprite has opened her eyes, but right now it's like both of those sprites have sort of merged. Meshed. And the le and like the 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 left on on my left, the eye looks just mm. like a black socket. Ah. <laughs> and no, I can't see the text. <laughs> oh, Miss Oi, tell us about the. Uh, tell us Miss about Oi, the game. tell us about that Demon Sukiyomi game. All right. Please, Claire, I want to be able to read this. There we go. Then I'll tell you what I know. Rumors of Demon Tsukuyomi. The Demon Tsukuyomi game was real popular with middle school at the time. If you performed a certain ritual, supposedly a ghost called the Demon Tsukuyomi would appear and grant any wish. No one really knows what the demon Tsukiyomi itself be. Some say his name was taken from the Japanese god of the Yomi. Apparently, because it only shows up on nights when... The concept is kind of similar to the Kokuri name or Ouija board. Ooh, wait, hold on really quick. Oh, okay. Oh, good. And so I didn't see that. Didn't see what? The text was all blurry. The bottom of the screen is still like legally. Oh, no. I, I I hit it because oh. I wanted to take a good, good, closer good, good. Thank look. Thank you. I want to take a closer look at it. So you see the chains. Yeah, it's and... the the image is like. I don't know what this crap reminds me of like Blair Witch Project. <laughs> I can see. It looks like a boiler room. Like, look in the very back of the thing. It lo looks like, like, Stan. Like, See, like, I, specifically, I, like, clothing racks. I guess that's what it's supposed to be. The... Demon so... Ugh, come on, get back, bitching fucking thing. Um... Come on, come on, catch up, please. I can't read the thing. The Demon Tsukiyomi game ritual has to be done or... Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> I hate my internet. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Like, it's the not your fault. You need... <clears throat> there we go. Chains, something to burn, and two hand mirrors. The pathway of mirrors. Mm. First, you place the chain down like you're surrounding it. The area section by the chain is to be like the altar. Next, you take your offering and burn it on the altar. You can burn anything you want, but 
Its value's gotta be proportionate to the size of your wish. If your wish isn't granted, then it means the thing you burned was valuable enough. Once you light the thing on fire, you gotta make a wish to summon the demon Tsukiyomi burns up. Recite a spell. Recite a spell. What the fuck ever. <sighs> These are kids chanting this. Okay, just... I gotta wait till the screen clears or I can see it on my phone. This is irritating. It's a, there, there's a little voice clip anyway that the kids did it. It's all good. Yeah, they can just... That'll do. Now please grab my wish. Once you finish the spell, there's one last thing. You gotta use the two hand mirrors. Join them together. Literally every time the screen doesn't fade like that, it just fucks with everything. <laughs> like, like, not even the, the chat scroll is immune. Like, the only thing that's immune to it is the hmm. notification queue. That's the only thing that isn't blurry right now. Wow. Well, like, it just says a demon, the demon Tsukiyomi will appear. Demon Tsukiyomi will appear. So I already got theories. Maybe, like, whoever did, did, did the arson, maybe they were trying to summon the, the guy, or the demon Tsukiyomi, and he thought that the wish was so valuable, or so big, that he killed people to get it. I was gonna say, like, what kind of... What the fuck kind of wish is that big? Like, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to achieve? That it's literally worth, like, ten human lives. And that's everything I know about it. Oh, uh, you got the game, Justin? Sweet. Outer Worlds? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Wow, I've never heard of that one before. I feel like I failed as an occult. Between the chains and the fire, it all lines up pretty well with that arson case. Which means, the arsonist was trying to perform the Demon Tsukiyomi ritual. That's just one explanation. No one but the arsonist knows for sure. So, Kojima, what are you gonna do now? Gather info on the internet. I now mean, play the Demon Tsukiyomi game. Well, don't we? That well, so seems I was thinking to be that, what Kakia won. That and like we always do the rumor, uh, test it out to see what yeah, happens. Exactly. But I, I feel like any of these will kind of work in a sense because I feel like we have to go to Moon Tower because that's where it happened, according it, according to what we believe. Because remember, well, no, wait. When we heard the screaming, did we say we? It, it came from above us or below us? I don't, I don't remember. remember that. My memory is non-existent. So, Kojima, what are you going to do now? Uh, I'm going to try playing that Demon Tsukiyomi game. I need chains, two hand mirrors, and something to burn, yeah? The mirrors and an offering are one thing, but chains are going to be hard to Hardware stores are all closed by now. Oh, I'll just steal some from somewhere. You said that to a cop. <laughs> You're gonna get yourself arrested. I'm a cop, remember, you dumb fuck? I guess I should give it some more thought. What do I do? <laughs> um. What do they say? Go to Moon Tower or oh, gather info on the internet. It. Get a mixtape, it's pretty fire. Haha. No, well, I think going... maybe if you go to Room Tower, you can go back up to that mysterious floor that, you know, the, 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 the show floor. Maybe the chains mm -hmm. will still be there. Well, remember, we never fully investigated that exactly. floor. There was exactly. two more screens. Yeah, we only got two screens because there was two more screens. Go to Moon Tower! <laughs> But you know, the games are going pretty well, so we're, I'm, I'm gonna end it off in a little bit here. Um, That's good once, we get, once we get once full we get control. Tower, maybe? 
Yeah, more. Yeah, then, then, then I'm gonna call the video, um, and then yeah. hopefully, maybe if I maybe I can stream tomorrow. I'm not really sure. I would like to finish the game if possible, but we'll see. People. I'm going to Moon Tower. This is your daily evening sustenance my right, reminder. You haven't done that in a while. <laughs> Got any reason for that? The one elevator turned back time. Only a spirit can do that. Something similar happened at the Moroku residence, too. If the elevator's still doing that, that means something's still there. And it just might be the demon Tsukiyomi. I wonder if Oe doesn't come with us to that floor and there's no way for her to die and it's still looping. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sound really, really gay right now, but can we end up with multiple Oe's? <laughs> <laughs> because that, that, that would be, that would be nice. <laughs> Alright, wanna get going then? That department store the elevator goes to is seen from right after the fire. There might be chains left there, so we can try out the Demon Tsukiyomi game. <laughs> Damn right I do! <laughs> she is exactly my type, but I kinda wanted to step on me. <laughs> uh, so, should we get going then? I'm going too. Of course, I'm Kojima's partner. I'm going too. Of course, I'm Kojima's partner. You've already, I've already saved Abby. You don't need to follow me around anymore. <laughs> you want to know why I follow you around? It's because I've got you a crush on you. You oblivious fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's because there are bound to be spirits there, obviously. If we're going to Moon Tower, we'll need to prepare first. Bond's not with us this time, so I use the same trick with- oh, oh, by the way, what'd you ask Bond and Rosé to do? Just some other business. Minor business? Oh, that. I thought- I thought it involved Killer Peach. Oh, she- she blatantly does. Even I can tell that, and I'm complete dumb fuck. Uh... Send him to... Send him to the Alamo. <laughs> Atame. Ah, uh, Atame. Where... 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 Okiyama's house is. Oh, Okiyama's house is. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. After Okiyama died, her personal belongings were sent to her house. I wanted to find out what was in there. If there's a notebook, we might learn something about Killer Peach or the arson case. We won't learn anything about Killer Peach because she didn't become Killer Peach until she until she was murdered. I can't believe that they were fine with being ordered around like that. When I told Ban it'd be a good scoop, he was all for. Then I introduced Rosé to a nice hot spring in, which got a real interested real. Well, sounds like Bond and Rosé are out of reach. They won't be able to help me with the investigation tonight. So we're gonna sneak into Moon Tower then. I'm gonna take a page out of Bond's book. Just leave it to me. Alright. I'm counting on you. I better get going then. Go to Moon Tower in about two hours. Oh, he leaves the bar after that cryptic remark. God, that voice is fun to do. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Guess we got some free time. Wanna go get something to eat, Kojima? I've been wanting to go buy a new all-you-can-eat yakitori place by Shinza Station. Ooh, bring me along too. I love Ooh, food. What's, what's yakitori though? Uh, I'm assuming it's some kind of like it's stir fry adjacent. I well, yakitori yaki is fried. I believe. Or yeah, yak I'm gonna is fried. Check. Yakitori. It's. It's skewered chicken! Ooh, all you can eat too? Oh, they yes. go out of business if I was there. 
Thanks, Kojima. Wait, who's paying? Oh, it's paying me. <laughs> I go with Hazuki to the Akatori restaurant by Shinzo Station. Hazuki's eyes glitter with delight. She bites down on a skewer of a a five uh, of thigh meat. I wonder if her love for chickens is because they're tied to voodoo in the occult. Nah, chicken's just tasty. Hell yeah, demon. Uh, hell yeah, the chicken. I was gonna say demon's tasty. Chicken's tasty. I mean, demon well, probably what? tastes like chicken. Yeah. Isn't it like some like? Chicken, who said, or is it is it known according to like former cannibals or something or whatever in jail? They said that human meat is closest to pork. So yes, they say. Yes, exactly. I've I've read that. Human meat, it's like pork, but a bit sweeter. See, I'd be, I, I can't be a cannibal. <laughs> I don't. Not to say, not to say, I never liked pork. I mean, I like bacon and all that, but I never really had like meals with a lot of pork. You I know, love like... pork. Tell you what, tell you what is like, it's like like gold, pork crackling. I've I've always heard good things about that. But it's, it's I, so I, I guess good. just a... you can get like really like meh like like bags of crackling like from the shops. But mm. um the, like the best pork crackling is like you got like, you got a nice a nice like like shank like like nice joint of pork with like nice with nice fatty joints of pork and then you gently score the skin and then you then you stick it into roast and the 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 skin and the fat will get all like bubbly and really greasy and really like crunchy and it's and crunchy and chewy and it's just so good it's so really good try... it is to die for and if the roasting it doesn't build up enough of like crunchy cracky you can just take take the take the fat and take and shit off and then just stick it back in the oven for a bit it's it's just it's to die for it's so good like the bag stuff is fine but like nothing beats fresh pork crackling so this is actually funny like uh, I, I i typed in pork in in wikipedia just to see like you know funny facts or random facts they they have your chart of worldwide pork consumption and like as of like this is from 2016 where they had the latest here um, it looks like China is huge when it comes to pork. Well, duh. Like the huge. It's like by twenty by twenty seventeen, half the world's pork consumption was consumed in China. My dude, and, China is fucking and, massive. Of course that, but then there's then the and then the EU comes next at twenty thousand something. I think I think it's, it's all come down to um, um, million metric tons. I think, and then. Then it's the U.S. at nine, nine thousand. Then Russia, Brazil. So, yeah, pork yeah, but like I, I, I would like oh, all you can eat pork crackling would be my dream. It would get me so fat, but it'd be so worth it. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm catching Jay here. Pharaoh, come to Romania. Then we have meals of pork. I mean, we have meals of pork here. It's just like we, or you're like you have traditions and with pork. Okay. Yeah, just like in our family dinners, we just never really use pork much. I mean, I'll eat like ham sandwiches here and there, but like we never really like cook a ham or smoke pork or anything like that. Bacon and sausages sometimes, yeah, we'll have. Um, but if like, we weren't like big. American like bacon is belly bacon. That's why it's so fatty. Because we, I guess. we, we do, we have like exclusively like bacon here is back bacon and it's mm. like 99.9 percent .9 meat there's barely any fat on it at all it's just meat so the what's canadian bacon then i don't know probably ham i don't know i've never seen it i just know mm. the british bacon is what, what i consider bacon it's back bacon it's it's nice it's like nice nice it's really chunky it's very nice I feel like I'd get super fat if I went to the, you know, well, like, it's less the UK. Well, there's barely any fat on it, to be fair. No, I'm saying, just saying, like, eating everything in sight. Anyway. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we, uh, department store fire 10 years ago. Victims were tied up in chains. The ritual has similarities of the fire incident. Surrounding yourself with chains, make an altar, burn something. Incantation, you need two mirrors, and join them by facing together. 
Uh, which granted based on value of object burnt. So yeah, it could be. It seems like bark, bark, bark. <laughs> Fun. Wait, what was that? In fact, I'm putting like ham in Romania is bark. Like how dogs bark. Oh. So dogs just go around saying ham, ham. Well, that sounds about right here. That's adorable. I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's what Benji says. Ham, ham, ham. It's like stop it, and you're not getting ham. <laughs> So cute! Two hours after I split Ue, or Oe, I arrive at Shinza Station. It's a Friday night, but weirdly, there aren't many people out. I wonder if Mizome's alright. It's Oe. Yo, I'm at Moon Tower. Yeah, good timing. I just. Finished. I can't read that word. Persuading him. Persuading him. I do love this woman. Persuading, is it? Oh, I just had a nice long chat with the head of security who bomb bribed us all. Told him if he didn't listen to what I said, I'd haul him in for breach of trust. He sent me down real quick after that. Wow, you really are a shady cop. God, I'm in love. What else was I supposed to do? We don't have a lot of options here. Anyway, the back door's unlocked, so get inside. I'll be waiting on the roof. Got something I want to show you. Okay, meet you there. See, that was kind of odd, because, like, we we could go to the roof before, but nothing to do there besides look at the monument. Great. I'm glad it all worked out. Let's get going. Even this late at night, the asphalt is still hot as I head toward Moon Tower. No one's in sight, so I slip in the back door. Unlock outside, it's cool in here. Guess the air conditioner is still running. I reflexively take a oh, quick look around. Catch it, then. <laughs> but I didn't need to bother. There's no one else in the hall. Ms. Always on the roof, right? I wonder what she wants to show us. I'm getting excited. Well, you'll just have to get excited tomorrow, maybe. Oh, whenever we stream next. Whenever we stream next, oh because God. I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. It's a little bit earlier than the last couple of days, but still kind of late. So, yeah. uh, but we, we did good today. I mean, we, we solved the case of the Killer Peach. We apparently saved Ami, which I'm still... You're still... You don't, trust, yeah. you don't trust that, do you? I don't, because like I still go by the theory that it really wasn't her. And don't forget, like the trophy even kind of said, why is it making it seem like now it's not written by Kagi? I don't know. I'm thinking too much into this, I'm sure, but... And I, I'm, I'm suspicious of the trophy descriptions. Let's see here really What's quick. What's it say exactly because the screen's doing a doing its Lego thing right now? So, with the, the one we got us from is called Ami's Rescue, and it says, I'm glad Ami made it home safely. I'm glad. Yeah, now, it's, it's but... Kaguya. That's not Ami. That's, that's no, that's no way the in the Nine Houses is that Ami. I'm trying to take a look at the image as well. I think trophy. it's Army, you know, hunched out. That, that image of Army. No, no, it is. Now, if you take a look at the one on the left, like, there, that's the image of Ami hunched over and Kaguya is caressing her from the back. Yeah, that. Oh, I'm just, yeah, it just, the stream just caught up to when you first brought this up. Yeah, I can see that now. So. I don't know. And let the let the game of the demon Sukiyomi begin. We assume that these two are going. Actually, I I could. I mean, I, I mean, I could click square and it'll show the hidden information, but I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, please don't. <laughs> so we can assume that these two. For the destruction pacification of the demon Sukiyomi. And then we have one, two, three, four. We can assume one of the D-mails one is going to be one of getting all the D-mail and Yeah, the cards. last one will probably be the all the D-mail shit. So we've got after the two for the demons. 
Yomi, we have two. Yep. After we no, after we get two for these, there's three more. We can assume so one of them. probably going to be related to various endings. It could be one, but a good ending, the the good and normal ending, and maybe about bad a bad ending. Yeah, I'm not sure what the, this other one could be. I'm also looking at the rarity. Like this is 17.4, 16.1. So I don't know. I'm 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 just jazzed. I'm just so fucking jazzed. I love this game. I love this love this game. And fuck these guys know how to write good characters. I will say yeah, like so far like um overall I say NG is the way better game than Deathmark. Oh, absolutely. I mean the the story of Deathmark was great. Um but I feel like the pacing for NG is a lot better. Oh, absolutely. And NG, like, as a, from a writer's point of view, NG is amazing because it's like the, the, the story, it's more involved. You know? That, and you, I feel like you actually give a crap um, yeah, about these characters, the characters. Yeah, because these characters stuck around. Because in NG, in, in, in Deathmark... The characters were very like they were they were disposable. It was like one use. But with this, I mean, it's like, like it... had Ami and Hazuki for like half the game, and now I've got Ban and Rose for half like half the game, and then we've got Oe and God, I love Oe. I think this game has great female characters. <laughs> oh yeah, no, they they, they know did how well to here. write female characters, and that's so rare. <laughs> no, they they did really well here. I'm glad. Um. <laughs> But yeah, we I guess we'll save the rest of it more than likely tomorrow morning. Um, well, for me anyway. Maybe we can beat the game. It really does depend on how things go. Um, but if not tomorrow, then obviously Are they sometime based next on actual week. Horror I don't know. I'm not. Oh, what was that? Uh, these chapters are they based on actual horror stories or are they made up for this game? I think that I I didn't somebody say it's based off like folklore, but then they just take their. You know, they take their liberties with it. I don't know. I don't know. Base of mythology. They're based off yeah. mythology. Okay. Like, like it was specifically, it was like explicitly lampshaded that the Demon Tsukiyomi game was probably like based on the the God of the Moon Tsukiyomi, like the Amaterasu's brother that I told you about before. Yeah, and they did mention the whole thing about being like the God of the Moon or something like that. Yeah, she so. was the sun. He was the moon. Mm-hmm. It's just, oh, this game is so good. This game is so good. 